Yo, what's up? Welcome back to Horizon Zero Dawn. Please like and subscribe. You can also click the bell to get notified when I post new videos or go live. Thank you for the support. Let's do this. What made these Clintocks attack? I better speak to whoever's in charge. What's up, guys? Alright, we're doing some more side missions today. So, Glint Hawks were attacking this camp. I had already cleared them out before. Uh, so, we're going to go talk to the leader and see what was going on. I've never been more terrified in my life. That'll keep my stomach quiet. Is no place safe? You just flew in on a rainbow and saved our sorry slags. Where do you come from? I heard the Glint Hawks attacking. They're scavengers. They don't hunt for sport. What's drawing them here? Has to be the blasted Karja. If we're in an era of peace, why am I elbow deep in Glint Hawk bung? They keep coming in waves. Has anything changed that might have lured the Glint Hawks? Have you left machine scrap lying around? No. Asaram use our scrap. Not like the Karja. They only keep the pretty parts. So the Karja have been leaving scrap around? Here? Never! If a Karja wasted scrap on my watch, I'd pick it up and make him eat it. Why do you think the Karja have anything to do with the Glint Hawks? We built this outpost to protect against the Karja. Now they're coming here to trade. Fine. Their shards are as good as anyone's. But everyone knows that they want this place. Come to think of it, they want every place. But how could the Karja have brought on the Glint Hawks? If I ever get a break from them, I'll see if I can spare a man to follow the trail. Guaranteed, there's a Karja at the other end. Has anyone come trying to sell lures? They're devices that attract machines. Is that real? <laughs> Is that some sort of Nora joke? I'll take that as a no. What exactly do you do here? As mayor, I order people around. Gotta be playing hammer to get things done. Can't stand those Karja chunks and their flowery talk. But since we helped the Karja get rid of their rotten king, it's been peace and brotherhood and all that dung. You don't think the peace will last? Don't have time for peace. I got Karja merchants begging for a discount on the gate tax and Glint Hawks attacking. Which is worse? Uh, this mirror's kind of an asshole. Why don't I investigate why the Glint Hawks are attacking? You've got your hands full. Really? No one ever offers to help me. You, uh, any good at tracking? You could say that. All right, then. Let me know what you find. Hammer to steel, a carch is behind all this. That device is sending out a signal. Might be what's attracting the Glint Hawks. Turn off! Turn off! Um, what are you doing? By the sun! It won't turn off! What is it? I didn't make it. I scrounged it from a workshop. Whatever it is, ever since it's been on, these glint hawks have been attacking! I don't know how to make it stop! Yeah, just a couple good whacks. <sighs> well, that should do it. Now start talking. Why are you scrounging gear you don't even understand? 
My customers demand extraordinary pieces best found at the fringes of civilization. My tales of adventure only increase their value. Where others only dare tread, I flourish. No mountain climbs too high that I can't mount it. My trade demands sacrifice. Including the sacrifice of innocence? Those glint hawks swooped down and attacked everyone. I didn't mean for that to happen. I sought only to sate the appetites of rich nobles who never leave their mansions. You mentioned you found the device in a workshop? Yes. I camped out atop the snowy eastern ridge. No easy climb, even in my best years. But I girded my... Enough. Were there any other devices at this workshop? Abandoned equipment. The likes of which I've never seen. A peculiar silo remained impervious to my attempts to open it. As I searched, I wondered how many secrets lie hidden in this world. As we, in our ignorance, go about our daily... Your point? Oh. No, I didn't see another device. But one could still be there, waiting to unleash its horrors. Did you know this whole time that that device was luring Glinthawks? By the sun, no! I stashed it here for a while, but when I came back, I was nearly beheaded by one of those flying terrors. This device is dangerous. I have to find that workshop and make sure it's the last. Where is it? On the Eastern Ridge, just beyond my campsite. But after I descended from the workshop, a cracking above me signaled my doom. I dove into the river mere moments before an avalanche oh, took out guy's the insufferable. Path. You can't reach it now. The climb is too perilous. I'll take my chances. You just stay away from that workshop and try not to cause another mess. Just so the workshop can't be far. If I can find a way around the avalanche. I totally had that. Long legs are super annoying. Should have brought a cart.
But Allure brought that Stormbird here. If I find any and destroy them, the machine should leave. Did not mean fall down all the way here. disable any lures. Well, that's unfortunate that the body fell, fell down all the way over there. this workshop. All done. Just cold and wet now. Whoever this Durval is, it sounds like he's made a lot of enemies. For good reason, too. Now to bring word back to Pitchcliff. I don't think I could survive another attack.
What will we do now? Oh, he's up there. That's right. You'll be happy to know I found another one of those lures and destroyed it. Should be the last you'll hear of it. By fire and spit, you went above and beyond. How do you know there won't be any more? The workshop where I found it was long abandoned. You're safe. Good. My troops want to spit and shake your hand, as my brother would have. On behalf of Pitchcliffe and my family, I thank you. My suggestion? Keep an eye on those Karja. I know. Alright, so earlier there was a bunch of machines attacking uh, Sunstone Rock. So let's go talk to the uh, leader over here. See what's going on. It was a machine lure. We don't know how they got it. The Rosgrun concealed the parts on his person, no doubt. There's someone out there. We searched him. How? You don't want to know how. Warden Geneva. This is the one who defeated the behemoths. Outlander. I'm impressed. I don't impress easily. Tell me, how do you fare with hunting living prey? Haven't had any complaints. Why? Three dangerous prisoners have escaped. I need my men here, getting the others back in line. None of this would have happened if we dealt with criminals the old way. But I've clashed that gong before, and here I am. And here you are. What's the old way? To be buried up to the neck and left for the sun's judgment. Seems to me like the judgment's already been made. Not one of them committed another crime. Do you know a hunter named Nil? He told me about this place. Nil? That's what he calls himself now. Is he well? I maybe wouldn't say well. He was born under a long and dark shadow, but he wasn't a knife without a thought behind it like the butchers of the Sunring. He had honor, old-fashioned. His time here boiled it to the surface. Who are these dangerous prisoners? Three from the isolation cages. Don't feel sorry for them. They've lived well off the Sun King's conscience. First is Rosgrund, Osram trap maker, hates the Karja, crazy as a loon in heat. Caught in one too many blasts, or one too few. Then there's Ulia, a Tanakh warrior, if that means anything to you. Not really. Another tribe? Reavers, from the south. Bloodthirsty. Some say they're cannibals, but she slurped gruel well enough. And the last is Gavon, a traitor who smuggled weapons to the exiles. Compared to the other two, this one doesn't seem so bad. He helped drag out a civil war, all for the shards it got him. A machine has more warmth. So the Karja keep their criminals in this place? Since the liberation. We've had them all, from thieves to the Mad King Jaron's former Kestrels. The Sun King believes in the power of change. And sure enough, some did change. Shed their skin, like lizards. I thought all criminals were the same once. That's why the Sun King gave me command of Sunstone Rock. As an education. Sounds like an honor. I mean, I haven't seen any other women in Karja armor. No. I'm not one of your sisters. No woman can wear Karja armor. When I was young, I chose to become a soldier. One good enough to join Avad's honor guard. There was talk about what I was. So I'd say, test me, and I'll break your arm. After enough arms had been broken, there was less talk. I'm curious, but I'd rather we didn't have to start fighting. Agreed. So you want these prisoners brought back? No. I want them put in the earth. 
I doubt they'll give you any choice. They had their chance with the Sun King's generosity. So now they face mine. A bounty on all their heads. Ulia of the Tanakh, Razgrund of the Asaram, and the traitor Gavon. If I did this for you, I'd need a lead on them. Well, when Ulia first swept through the Sundom, it was with the jungle bandits. I say she'll go back. Razgrund we pulled out of a crack in Dusk Mesa, where he'd been tinkering with his bombs. And Gavon will be trying to pay his way across the lake. I'd burn my palm on it. Look in Bright Market. All right, cool. Time to go hunt these guys down. We'll go here first. Uh, this camp's closer. Got rid of the bandits. I don't think it'll be hard to find this warrior. Do you know the bandits will fight each other to determine the strongest? I don't like to see. I told you they would come. Drive her into the dirt. Talked about this, huh? All the Kaja did was talk. Talk and bleed. Talk and shackle me. But you, you fought like a Tanakh. I'd have taken you for my child. You can't just take a child. The strong take from the we weak. And in the taking, I'm made stronger. These stories pricked into my skin. Look. <clears throat> Children, riches, lives, and land. All of these have been mine. Drink of my... <coughs> my blood. And they'll live on. <gasps> no, Ulia. I've... I've got enough stories to carry. Alright, that's one down. thought they'd send soldiers. The mighty Karja Empire must be more strapped than I thought. How sad. No matter, bounty hunters die like the rest. Welcome to my ravine of death. Are you serious? Sadist, murderer, trap me. All these things. I'm curious. I don't suppose those behemoths are called to the prison killed Geneva. You're gonna be disappointed. Yeah, that's why I have my toys to distract me from the pit. Not yet, little acrobat. Whoopsie! Still alive? <clears throat> yes. Oh, you're a trickster. <sighs> if 
But you're not on fire yet. Persistent, aren't you? Easy does it. Mind your fingers. <laughs> How am I supposed to get up there? Oh, I guess over there. You got me. No more traps. Tell Geneva I'll be a good boy from now on. You expect me to believe that? What's in your hand? <laughs> oh, this? Well, just a little... Oops. <sighs> I guess he died doing what he loved. All right. Second one down. If this Gavon came through here, the inn seems like a good place to start asking. I've been working too damned hard. The Nora. As the son is my witness, never had a Nora in my house. What about a man named Gavon? Mm, no, can't say I've heard that name, but uh, we're a trading town, get a lot of people through. All kinds, I'm sure. Like ones who don't want to be followed. I never heard of your Gavon. If he's trouble, well, can't say I'm sorry. Uh, now I've things to be doing, Nora girl, if you don't mind. Oh, he wasn't suspicious at all. <sighs> Time to take a look around. I'm not going home. No. I don't want to face my father. Uh, I still rest my feet. Good sweep will brighten this place up a bit. Oh, I had enough of work, and enough of my family. Oh, what's this? A woman atop the hunter's lodge. Never thought I'd see that sunrise. A shame a I woman became sunhawk of the lodge. You wouldn't have gone she did to all the men of her house. But you didn't make for the harbor. And you didn't go alone.
Nope. Ow, I was trying to leave you guys alone. I'm trying to be nice, and this is what I get. Come on, guys. Piss off. So did Gavon fight his friends or his enemies? I suppose they're all the same to me. Looks like they weren't happy to see him Don't back. Don't you pass out, Gavon. Hey! Friend of yours, Gavon! Cover if you want to keep breathing. They sent you to take me back to Sunstone? Not to take you back. Huh. Well. Hashiv's done your job for you. Geneva said you were a smuggler, only for the shards. Is that true? <laughs> I could tell you anything. A sick mother, or I did it for the poor children. But you'd be lying. In the year I spent in the cage, all I regretted was killing that guard. Because it got me caught. You can take that back to Sunstone Rock. Done deal. Your aid to the Karja Sundom in these times of strife is appreciated. That's the official response. I'd say... I can tell you've done the work by the look on your face. Two of them got themselves killed. The other... Welcome to fight to the end. They would have found death with or without you. Taken others with them. That's what I told myself. Smart girl. Doubt we'll meet again, so... Go in light. Was too cruel for Avad, and driving us out to starve is what an act of compassion. All right, mission accomplished. All right, that's going to be it for today's video. Uh, thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed it, please leave a like, and if you haven't already, please consider subscribing. And uh, I'll see you guys next time.